guys, it's Magic Monday yet again. Here we are celebrating what it's like to be a full-time video influencer and to basically share your mission and purpose with the world through online video. My name is Liz. If you don't know who I am, hello, hello, hello. I am the internet unicorn here to help you increase your impact and influence online using videos. And today I'm bringing on a very special guest, which I'm really excited about, named Daniel Eisenman, the Ohm Daddy himself and sharing with you some of the tips and tricks and reasons why his Ohm Daddy video, if you haven't seen it yet, go Google it, watch it now, went completely viral all over the world, just completely blew up with over 40 million views just from the Facebook platform alone, another over 600,000 views on YouTube, sharing that same video, it was on news channels all around the world in India and He's gonna be, <clears throat> lots of other countries too, but he's gonna be popping on here in a second to share that with you guys. And just so you guys know, whether you're watching the rebroadcast or you're catching this live with us, if you're catching it live, put a one in the box so I know who is here with us. Hello, Mark, hi, Kyle, hi, Sarah. I wanna say hi to you guys. And if you have any questions for Daniel, feel free to leave those in the box as well. Um, what's up, Mel? Hello, hello. So excited you guys are on here. Oh, this is such a good one. Normally we talk about using YouTube and Facebook video to help people find you on the internet. But this is a very unique topic and a very unique guest today because Daniel has built his entire business around viral video content. And it's an entirely different formula than um, the Google SEO and using, you know, cool titles and things like that. So I'm gonna bring Daniel on real quick. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me get him on. Guys, here he comes. Oh, I'm so excited. I got like. I got jitteries. What's up, Daniel? Aloha, Liz. Hello, hello. Oh, he, he's got the baby herself, the sweet little internet star, Davina. <laughs> She's so cute. Thank you. Yeah, it's cool to be here with you. I got some uh, unicorn juice with me, too, so. Oh, perfect. I've got my unicorn slippers on today, mm. so <laughs> we're doing good together. Right. So, Daniel Eisenman, the Freedom Catalyst, <laughs> the Ohm Daddy. I have a couple questions for you that I think will really help people to understand viral video and what makes a video go viral. The first question of what, well, first of all, let's give us a little background on who you are, what you're working on, what your mission and purpose in the world is, and how video has helped you. Okay, cool. Yeah, my name's Daniel Eisenman, obviously. Thank you for the awesome introduction. We had this miraculous baby named Davina. Her full name's Davina Victoria Eisenman. And a divine victory she sure is. She was born about 10 months ago. Um, before that, I was like traveling the world for about 10 years, answering the question, what would I pay to do and how to get paid to do it? And that led me to hosting a bunch of like, what I would say some of the best vacations and healthiest vacations in the world, like group adventure travel vacations, which I think where we originally met was in Kauai. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then I wrote a book based on all the <clears> events, like the golden thread of what I saw happening at these events and wrote a book about it called Breaking Normal, Rewild Your Inner Child and Set the Truth Free. And I was sitting on that book like 90% done for so long. But when I saw Deanna give birth to this miracle in our living room, I was like, what the heck am I doing? And so I, I just gave birth to the book a few months after, actually on my birthday, June 1st. So that oh. book is now generating a lot more interest in the events. We have an app coming out and, and I still do some like, one-on-one -on -one consulting or smaller groups for people that are ready to make their dream life live now like you are so congratulations yeah. to you, you yes unicorn. thank you so we originally just to give you guys the backstory i originally went on daniel's um international tribe design retreat and we met in Kauai. and i had such a fun time on that retreat i met some of the coolest people ever it ended up changing my entire like the entire direction of my life I was going one path and then I went to your retreat and it started going an entirely different path. So I'm super grateful for that and the impact that Daniel has had on my life. Um, but that's just like a little personal backstory. So let's jump into this because before I hopped on this video, I was doing some re research on what makes the video go viral. And I came across a TED talk given by the Google Trends Manager at YouTube. And he basically said that there's three elements and I want you to kind of share your experience with this and the Ohm Daddy video, which had 40, over 40 million views and how these three principles may have applied to that. But the three principles were basically, number one was tastemakers. Those are people like who already have huge audiences, somebody like a Jimmy Kimmel or, you know, an online talk show host sharing it and bringing a large audience to the content itself. 
And the second one was um, part community participation. So giving people something that they feel they can identify with or participate in in some way. And then the third one was something completely unexpected. As we know, the internet loves weird things and unexpected things. And you're the king of that. You just go, you go off the wall with some of the content that you create. And it's so unexpected and so original that it has those elements in it. So when it comes to this video specifically and other videos that you've done that you've seen have had a really high impact or high virality content experience, how do those three things apply to what you are deciding when you are creating something or when you decide to put a camera on? Do any of those three things come into play for you? Yeah, and uh, funny enough, um, uh, the Mel, thank you for your question. I was, I was gonna ask that same exact question. Can you just rephrase the first one one more time? Yeah. The own so baby here is a. I might even hand her off to our babysitter since she oh, no, looks like she's baby. ready for nap time. Dad, baby. Hey, Emerald. Oh, she's so cute. So the first one, great question, Mal. I'm listening. Um, I'm listening. And I'll kind of give you a little bit of a Emerald? recap on that one. The first one was called Tastemakers. This is not my phrase. This comes directly from the guy who gave the TED Talk, and he basically used that as a phrase to describe people who already have huge audiences. Um, like a celebrity or a TV show host sharing a content piece that someone's made that had no views before. And then all of a sudden it skyrockets because it's become a popular trend that people start talking about. There's this one video, for example, on YouTube of this guy in the middle of Yosemite Mountain who made, and this is in the TED Talk. I just posted the same video in our YouTube Marketing Mastery group. So if you're not in that, um, I'll drop a link after we get on this and you can watch it in there, but, or you can just Google it. And, um, the, there was like this double rainbow in Yosemite and this guy's just like freaking out and this video had zero views for the entire time because this guy living in the middle of the mountains he just wanted to share a rainbow that he thought was beautiful and then all of a sudden Jimmy Kimmel shared it and it went completely off the rails and just got millions and millions of views because of a tastemaker of what this guy has termed that concept for the first um the first out of the three does that make sense yeah that yeah clear it up? And I think, um, so that funny enough, that definitely wasn't what originally got it going. That has happened since then. Like all kinds of people have shared it, um, whether it's like Charlie Sheen. I'm trying to think of some of the funnier people. Uh, some of allegedly some very important guy in MMA. I don't even know the guy's name, but I had these people, they're like all into fighting, hit me up. They're like, dude, this guy just shared your video. And they're like all jacked up about it. So that happened later down the line. And it also got, like you mentioned earlier, it got shared on news channels in India and Brazil. I was on the news in Israel. It like went, so that happened later down the line. I think originally what it was, was probably the third thing you mentioned, just like the uniqueness of what is probably one of the most collective pain points in the world as for new parents is like how to get their children to stop crying. And I I think what I, I honestly what I think it really is based off is the connection that I have with Davina, and that's what um, on the back of the, I have a bus branded like my book, and on the back of it I have what's most personal is most universal, and I think there's what's really more personal and universal than like a dad looking into the her his crying daughter's eyes and transmitting a loving energy that soothes her right to sleep. Yeah, I would agree. It's such a beautiful video. So to, for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, if you haven't Googled it yet, go Google it. But for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, just give a quick description because this thing went bananas. Like it crossed the internet wave in an instant. So what is the actual video in your words? Oh yeah, so you can uh, look up my name on Google News and they'll have all different kinds of versions of it. But it was basically, I was doing a live video in this bed right here and I was in the midst of it and she started crying. So I owned to her pretty casually. It wasn't like, I'm gonna own to her and make this video go ultra viral. I just did it. And all of a sudden people like I hadn't heard, they usually don't comment on my videos as much. We're like, oh my gosh, that was incredible. Like, you know, just, they kept coming. All the comments kept coming in the live video and I'm like, I'm just gonna re-upload that 42 second clip of the ohm. And I uploaded it and like for the next 24 to f like 24 hours, it was getting a million views per hour pretty much. Wow. And things just went crazy, it went crazy. And they're still going crazy. But for that first week I did it, you know, I was just riding that, the ohm. The ohm really resonates <laughs> universally. <laughs> riding the ohm, I love it. Cool, so how has, online video and specifically this viral video helped to explode or 
impact your business online? Because I know that you find a lot of, a lot of people find you internationally. You're running these retreats internationally. And I'm curious how online video has helped you to grow that business. This one specifically you're saying, the Own Daddy video? Yeah, or really any of the videos that you've put out online. Oh, I, I, I think that it's crazy to not take advantage of the technology that we can like, pr I can press one button and reach millions of people from across the world. Really, I think the only reason someone's not doing that is some sort of like story around, they are either scared or privacy or some weird, some weird limiting story in my opinion. Like I believe that we are in one of the most, am the most amazing time ever with technology that um, this is like, it, it, it's kind of like, it sounds like the Bible almost, that I can press a button and I can speak to millions of people and inspire them to consider a language, like a, consider a communication beyond language. And I think everyone has that, like everyone has a unique gift that I think the world is starving to see. So it's a matter, and I see people showing up like Dane, Jacqueline, yourself, and like all these people that are, I see right now in my view are people that are making their gift very, pow uh, very powerful, as, pos as powerful as possible. And they're giving it to m as many people as possible by taking advantage of this technology where we can press a button and broadcast ourselves to whoever wants to watch. So, totally. uh, man, I keep, more and more cool people keep showing up and know what I'm talking about. So I like, I like that you're attracting an awesome audience that believes in the power of video marketing. It's, it's yeah, just crazy totally. not to use, in my opinion. It's like, some when the telephone first came out, people not wanting to use a telephone. Uh, this, this is sticking around. Might as well take 100%. advantage of it. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. And the cool part is too, we're in. It's like the free market. It's like the wild west right now, where anybody, there's no more yes man that has to, you know, give you the green light to create content. Anybody can start creating content. I remember when the first Facebook video came out. It was a friend of mine, Barbie Decker. She's one of the top earners in Beachbody. And I remember when she first posted a video to the Facebook platform, it was so bizarre. It was like, who is this person and why is she posting a video? But now it's like everyone is doing it. And now is the time to really get online and start sharing your message and your, and your mission really through online video. So tell the people a little bit, because I know this about you with Rob Raz, but you and your brothers originally started doing this work and spreading your message with the Rob Raz channel on YouTube. So the, the viral video that we're talking about today, the Om Daddy video, that was on Facebook, but you originally had your start in online influence with the Rob Raz. So just give the people like a little bit of understanding of what Rob Raz was and what you guys were doing on that YouTube channel. Yeah, we were basically started to experiment with a diet of eating only raw fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, like a raw vegan diet. And uh, we were getting profound results, especially in the beginning. And a lot of people were starting to ask us like, well, what, can you give me some recipes? Like, whoa, how do you do this? How do you do that? Like, I, I, it was, the demand was so high from like my friends and social group. Then I'm like, I'm just gonna make a video so I can show everybody. And we made a video of us making a banana and romaine smoothie. That was the first video I think we've ever put up. And I didn't even know if I was going to publish it. We just recorded it, showed how to get ripe bananas, good fresh romaine, blend them in a good blender, drink it right up with a bunch of enthusiasm and like promoting how good it tastes and how healthy it was. And that really resonated with a lot of people. And we kept, we kept doing them and they kept getting crazier and crazier. And then long story short, uh, we caught ourselves like in the dogma of thinking that diet is the answer to everything. And then we shifted from uh, the raw bras about being only about raw foods to be about the raw truth. Um, because we saw a lot of people in that world that were promoting certain ideas that weren't even really living up to them themselves. And there was just seemed to be a gap of what was being promoted and what people were actually doing. So then that became the new theme we were focusing on, like bridging the gap of any incongruencies in honest communication. And we started hosting that, we started incorporating that into our events. And actually, so you, the video message thing is funny enough, we, uh, we recently created a Breaking Normal app that we're beta testing with about 100 people. We wanted to have 150 people by February. And this is how much I believe in the video uh, marketing. That's the only option to communicate with people. The only option right now to communicate with each other is video messages only. I like, oh. I almost think like texting is obsolete and like voice notes are cool, but why would I do a voice note when I can just press the, uh, it's the same effort, same one button. The only thing that's, that's, it's really crazy for people is to get over the fear of seeing themselves. Because when, when, when somebody's doing a live video and this is unique since we're both on it, but a lot of people have profound breakthroughs by uh, broadcasting themselves live for the first time. And who are they really looking at? 
that they're looking at themselves in the screen. And this is why I think before you, you're talking about the wild, wild west of video marketing right now, before this was the case, mostly only actors, like famous Hollywood actors and commercial people got this type of attention. And I've always wondered, like, are actors so profoundly talented because they're putting themselves on stage? Or is it because all the people are looking at them and they're getting that attention? Or whatever the reason is, now everyone has that opportunity to feel what it's like to be on stage and to receive the profound benefits of putting ourselves out there. So I'm all about what you're talking about. And I'm happy you're asking these questions. It's a big passion of mine. So um, I trust that I sort of started answering your question. Yeah, no, I love it. Okay, so I have another question for you. What do you think are one or two things that really helped to set you apart from all of the other people out there creating content, getting on live video, creating YouTube videos? What are some things that you've noticed have been, you know, the thing that sets you apart from the pack in okay, your- Okay, cool. I, I think like not thinking too much basically rather than relying upon regurgitating a, a planned script of what i'm gonna say i more wait usually i wait like oh i'm feeling inspired turn the camera on it's like oh i'm in the zone turn the camera on oh like I'm, I, this is a message that would benefit a lot of people turn the camera on i don't want to think about what i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm gonna rather than black out i'm gonna like white out i'm just gonna let the light shine through tap the spring rather than like trying to give a regurgitated planned script. And I think that's what's in. Um, I, I, but now that everyone has access to a, a, a really advanced editing programs and video cameras, they're so easily available. The new, in my opinion, the real game is like how authentic can one be in the moment, mm -hmm. not how much can they act or how they can act. It's like how, how much can they act like themselves? And that's what I, I trust that I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, I would say you're probably one of the most authentic people on camera, especially that I've seen. And that's so interesting that you say that because I'm always telling people like at least have the bullet point things that you're going to talk about already pre-outlined and just know so that you can keep it concise and clean. And so it's really interesting to hear this other opposite end of the spectrum where you could just throw a camera on because you're feeling inspired or passionate or fired up about something and have results that way as well. And this might um, be based on the person. Like some people might do better with some bullet points. I'd be really good with creative constraints. So I like the quantum consultation videos that you may have seen continuously being uploaded. When I do that, I basically, anyone that sends me a screenshot of their review of Breaking Normal, I set the context of 11 minutes. I'm doing this for 111 people, funny enough. Here we are, 1111. Um, um, 11 minutes of communication beyond limitation, and that's it. And, I, and I'm strict about that 11 minute cutoff. Um, and that really nurtures me because I know this is how th I'm going all in for 11 minutes. Let's do it. I love that. You know, I love the 11s. Hello. Yes. yes. Hello. <laughs> uh, okay. one, more, one more final question for you. And thank you for taking the time to share your experience with online video with everybody watching. And thank you everybody who's watching, whether you're catching this live or on the rebroadcast. It's so exciting to see so many cool friends here. Dane, thank you for the compliment. You know, I love you too. Um, yes, the love last Dane, question love I Ben, I love a lot of people on this, this thread right here. So thanks for, thank you for the opportunity for me to say yes to be on video again. Like I, I do think there's something profound about being as seen by as many people as possible and to have as little, like I, to know when I'm wearing a mask, not to be unconsciously wearing masks for different social settings that I can be whoever I am when I want to be that right now. So you gave me another, you're giving me an opportunity to do that. So thank you. You gave me my first opportunity to be fully seen by a group of like 70 plus people. And I'll never forget this. When we were in Kauai at your event and we were all circled up and each person went one by one into the middle and basically said, like, here's who I am. Here's what it is. Take it or leave it. And I, I will never forget this, Daniel, because I was the only one that cried. I cried and I'm used to being in front of tons of people, like 50 people at a time in a fitness class. And I got in front of these people, not in a context where I was performing, like putting on a show for a fitness class. And I was the last one or one of the last ones to go, at least until we moved locations. And I'll never forget, like I cried. Cause I was like, oh my God, I'm being seen by all these people talking about some of the most real authentic things that I've ever experienced in my life, sharing this with complete strangers. And it was such a, I feel like that was the catalyst. That was the moment that my life started to take an entirely different, drastically different direction from the inauthentic, like, here's my stage presence self to 
here's me as a human being and here's the gifts that I have to offer. Here's the things that I can share to help you, you as a human being through the camera. So thank you for that. I just wanted to throw that in there. If you, you have another one of those retreats coming up, right? Yeah, in Costa Rica. And it's funny you bring that up about the crying because our last event in Maui, in which I was one of, it was the most powerful testimony, like affirmation for the event was that I don't know if I've ever seen so many people crying and laughing at the same time. Or like, like I'm like, are they crying because they're happy or are they laughing because they're sad or and just blurring those lines and breaking that normal uh, is very meaningful to me because one of my greatest inspirations in my life uh, was my grandma who transitioned at 100 years old and she was just so easy to laugh and or cry and um it, and it, whenever whenever things something came up she let it come out in a, like such a graceful easy way and I judged her to be one of the healthiest people I've ever met because of that so yeah, like seeing you cry to maybe let release some secrets or finding out the secret of not having secrets within a group of people. That's uh, it means a lot to me. So thank you for sharing that story and reminding me of those moments. I love those moments. It was life changing for sure. So the last question I have for you here to bring it back to the video influence stuff is what do you love about being a video influencer? Because you have this huge tribe of people that would follow you anywhere that love you endlessly. And I'm just curious, like, Beyond that, because obviously community and tribe and having, you know, an impact in the world and really helping people step into that authenticity. What else do you love about being a video influencer? Yeah, I think for me, what's coming up right now is that I, I think I believe it's like the greatest stage in the world. The greatest and most powerful stage in the world is continuously following me. That's what video marketing has done for me. So I think uh, maybe if I was born 100 years ago, I would have been doing everything I, I can to find the golden stage to to give my gift and to spread my message but now like i don't have to go anywhere here i am in my bedroom most of the consultations i do are with my daughter i can go from here to like all in on work to going to get a green juice for my wife in the other room and it's because this one of the main reasons is because this tool that we have is the cameras built in to the internet and this just blows my mind and I, I love it because it gives not only me a possibility, but for anyone with a message to share, which I think is everyone, the opportunity to get paid to do the things they would pay to do. Because I believe that um, almost everyone has a gift that can be transmitted maybe through the camera that I and everyone deserves to hear. So let's see you on camera, please. <laughs> Yes, please get on the camera. Okay, cool. So if they're just starting out and say they've never made a live video, you mentioned this before that some, a lot of people have major breakthroughs by going live for the first time or by putting a camera on and publishing something and being really, really raw, because that's such a vulnerable thing to put out your first couple videos and be like, I'm this person. And here's what I have to offer. What do you have as far as tips? Because I feel like I, I don't usually ask people that I bring on this series this question, but I feel like you, Daniel, will have some really awesome um, tips for them or suggestions for them to kind of break normal, break through that fear. So what would you say to people just getting started? Awesome. All right. So I think uh, one of the basic things that like, and it's probably you working in professional media, even beyond just your own shows. Uh, anytime someone wanted me to audition for something, they drilled it. They drilled it into my mind that the audio and the lighting are crisp and clear. Um, I still haven't followed that because sometimes I'll let inspiration even lead my way. I'm like at a waterfall and I'm like, Shit, this is awful lighting and audio, but I just got to share this. So, but that would be what I'd say. Get good, crisp audio and lighting where we can hear you and see you, especially your face. Um, this is what's most personal is most universal again. So if we can see your eyes, if we can see your lips and your teeth, I think that's very helpful. I think that's even helpful for algorithms. Crazy enough. Uh, who, that's a whole nother topic where artificial intelligence is like merging with human genius um and then make it a subject specific video the three minutes or less that would be a great freaking start like something that you're extremely passionate about something that comes easy to you that you see other people struggling with whether it's making a smoothie or fixing your car or cleaning your windows or how to do a live video or whatever it is and make it very subject specific and give yourself a creative constraint of three minutes or less and just do it with, don't plan it, don't, in my opinion, don't plan it, don't think about it, maybe having an idea of what you're trying to talk about, and then just, just get, put yourself on stage. It's like putting, just as someone puts themselves on a TED Talk, put yourself right in front of the camera, cut yourself off after three minutes, and uh, I would let your heartbeat guide your way. Let your heartbeat guide your way. Like, instead of trying to run from being nervous or anxious, like, show that. 
uh, increase it. If, you're, if you want to cry, cry as much as you can. If your hands are shaking, let them shake as much as you can. If your voice is trembling, let it tremble as much as you can and stick with it. Stick with the three minutes. Say what you're going to say and listen to what you say. Listen to what you say and let your heartbeat guide your way and press play. Uh, I freaking love it. It's so good, you guys. It's so exciting. Okay. Thank you so much, Danielle. So where can they find you if they want more information or to get involved with the upcoming Costa Rica retreat? Okay, cool. So um, since we're on Facebook, I have a uh, Facebook fan page called Daniel Eisenman, the Freedom Catalyst. And that's where you'll find the Ohm Daddy video. That's a great place. I go on. I do a lot of Instagram stories. That's fun for me. And then my website uh, is breakingnormal.com. And that's where you can find out more information about the events, beta testing the app or even doing uh, maybe some one-on-one -on -one work where we go all in. Love it. Okay, so I will see you maybe in Costa Rica. I would love that. Maybe. I would love that. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for joining me today. Daniel Eisenman, the Freedom Catalyst and the Ohm Daddy. I hope you guys like this. I hope it helps you in your own video creation. Thank you for watching this Magic Monday. We do this every Monday morning at 11 a.m. I'm gonna be bringing on more and more really awesome video influencers. As you can see, the caliber is just going on the ups, y'all. And that's because yeah. of you guys. It's because you're engaging, commenting, liking, and that lets us know that you're enjoying this content. So thank you, Daniel, for taking the time to hop on here today and share your gifts and your tips with the people. I'm sure they love it. Let them know if you loved it. Throw up the hearts, throw up the little thumbs up buttons or whatever you want to do. Maybe throw in an angry face if you're really that person. <laughs> and you're mad that he's so successful with this. <laughs> Don't be that person. Or do. And thank you, Ben. That. Yeah, that's, uh, I will say, well, since Ben mentioned it especially, and I wrote the forward to his book, actually, the Perfect Health Booklet. Uh, it's my good friend from Miami that has a CrossFit gym, awesome guy. He's recommending getting the book Breaking Normal. I do recommend the book, obviously, but I would recommend it actually Audible. I read the Audible, and that's, I barely read physical books anymore. I'm like a voracious audio listener. So when I read that, I really put a lot of heart and soul into it, and I'm very <laughs> proud and happy with that specific version. So, yeah, that would be. Yeah, so get the book on Audible. I'm yes. also an Audible gal. They know that though. And thank you so much for joining. I will be posting this very shortly and I'll leave some links down below for where you can find more info from Daniel himself. All right. Bye, Dan. Awesome, Liz. Talk to you soon. Take care.